Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. In this week's Women in Astronomy, we are going to talk about Emily du Châtelet and try to understand a little bit about her contributions to astronomy. Now, Emily lived from 1706 to 1749 and unlike many women of her era was educated at an early age in things like mathematics, science and languages. Now she resumed her studies again. She was studied early and then she started studying again in 1733 after having her three children. She learned both algebra and calculus to be able to study various uh, things in science and especially in physics. And her scientific work consisted of work on the conservation of total energy. Now we know of this as the conservation of energy now that energy has to be conserved. Now this was an expansion on what Isaac Newton had done. Isaac Newton had given us conservation of momentum and she was able to expand on that and, and, and expand it to the conservation of energy. She is probably best known for her translation of Newton's Principia into French. So we see some of her work here and it was a translation into French and not just a translation based on her work on languages, but also included a detailed commentary on the work. So we can see notes here made on the side that she made as she was going through the work, trying to explain and to more in more detail and get a better understanding, giving us a better understanding of Newton's work. And of course, Newton's was the primary work of the time. She had a, an understanding of advanced mathematics, including calculus, that only a handful of people had in this era. So she was able to really go into far more detail and expand on what Newton had given us and build upon that to increase our understanding of physics. Now, so when she redid this, she added her own ideas to the translation. So we think of it, you know, it, yes, it was a translation of Newton's work, but it was also a commentary, which included her own ideas to be able to expand on it. Now, this was not published until after her death. And she died just a week after uh, giving birth for the fourth, fourth time. So the expansion of her work was very important and really built on everything that Newton had started out here and her understanding of the mathematics that were needed as well as the physics concepts allowed her to expand and give us things like expanding to a conservation of total energy and not just momentum and a detailed work of really uh, the uh, Principia of Newton which was really the standard French translation for quite a long time. And as you might expect, she was also a very prominent in pushing for education of women to much higher levels. Uh, instead of just a basic level, pushing them to a higher secondary uh, education to be able to learn and understand more and learn more of the maths and the sciences that was generally neglected at this time. So let's go ahead and finish up with our summary and what we've looked and what we've looked at is that she was educated in science and math at a very early age. And she's best known for her translation and commentary on Newton's Principia uh, and becomes the standard French translation of this work. So that concludes this discussion of Emily du Châtelet. We'll be back again next time to discuss another woman in astronomy. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.